What's up? This is Casey from Casey's Customs, and we are back on the 1965 Mustang chassis swap. And in this video, I want to try and get the front clip on. Let's go! In the last video, we got the body put on the chassis. I think I got it where I want it, but I'm not gonna weld anything too solid right now, just in case I need to tweak anything a little bit. I think this might need to come down just a little bit, but I don't know, I'm getting sidetracked. Right now, what I wanna do is put the fenders up there and see what all I need to cut to make them fit. Whenever I put the body on in the last video, I was holding a fender up there to kind of get it in the right region, but I wasn't, you know, going for exact fit and finish. In this one, I want to try and get the fenders on so they're working good. I know right off the bat, just from doing the work last week, I think I need to cut some of this away and I might need to trim this down a little bit. So what I might do is cut this out and then invert it so that it dips in instead of dips out. I don't know. Let's throw the fender up there and see exactly what all we need to do because right now I'm just going off of stuff I did last week and I don't really remember. <laughs> also, fun fact, in last week's episode, I was constantly complaining about how hot it was. We had heat index of 103 the entire week and so far this week, it has been in the 50s and raining. Freaking Midwest, man. What can you do? <laughs> you can kind of see what we need to do to make some room for the headlight bucket. Need to make some room for the edge of this fender. I can obviously trim this down a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut that. And then we also need to trim this. In reality, it would be a lot better if the body was an inch or two higher. I would probably get away with not having to cut that much, but I already hate how high the body is. Just, I'm not a fan of it. I know, I know the bodies are skinny, so it's kind of tricky. 65, 66 is real skinny, really thin, but I just, I hate how high it is already. We're already gonna have to kind of get cute with rocker on the modern Mustang. So I'm not going up anymore because it just, it upsets me. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with a windshield situation yet. I'm obviously gonna have to cut this dash back and maybe beat this down some. Maybe I might have to run a Lexan window out of like a race car, which I don't love, but it just, I <laughs> I cannot make it go any higher because it's just starting to, it just looks so ugly to me. I'm not in love with where it's at. I'd really like to be a couple inches lower, but that's fine. I got airbags coming. Just bought a brand new airbag set. So we'll be able to lay it out as much as we can. I don't know that you can lay these out all the way on the ground just because of the way the suspension is set up but it should get it like i think a six or seven inch drop which will be awesome yeah i'm just saying all that because i <laughs> i'm just not happy with how high it is but i'm definitely not going any higher so let's uh yeah let's cut some shit maybe oh. i can't do that one-handed Start to make some stuff happen, baby! Not looking bad, I'm gonna cut this now and uh, I'm gonna show you something. So I get comments almost constantly, people saying, Casey, why do you use time-lapse so much? We wanna see the work, we wanna see what's going on. And I try and show as much as I can without it just being boring. But for those people, this next video is gonna be for you. Here's what it looks like when I don't time-lapse. Can you imagine 10 hours of that? Cause all I do is cut, weld and grind. It's truly annoying. And also this is like a four minute clip. We'll probably only play 45 seconds of it cause nobody wants to watch four minutes of grinding, but that's why we have to use time-lapse. <laughs> now, anytime you're cutting out suspension parts, <laughs> it's good to always put them back. So on this, this is just sheet metal. This means nothing. This is just kind of dash. And this is gonna get more structure added, whether I do a roll bar or whatever, not that big of a deal. This is something that needs to be replaced with the same thickness of metal that you took out. So what I'll end up doing is I'll take the piece I took out and I'll end up putting it back in there some way like that. Or I'll fab up another piece out of eighth inch plate or quarter inch plate, whatever that is. But for now, I'm gonna leave it off. I'm gonna put this off to the side because I'm gonna reuse it. 
And I'm gonna leave this off for now though so I can see where my fender is gonna run. But we will definitely need to put that back with some heavy duty stock because that is, that's a good little chunk of metal right there. Also, I, my airbag kit's coming in, so I might just leave that open for now because I think the airbag kit uh, mounts a lot smaller, so I might even be able to change this bolt pattern a little bit. I don't know. I'll have to see that whenever it comes in. But uh, yeah, let's cut the front. So I got it on there. It's kind of fitting like dog meat, but that's all right. I knew that was gonna be the case also it's too narrow which we knew that going in and it's also about an inch too far back you can tell by looking at the wheel well it is not in the center it's not that big of a deal because one i have a welder and two i have a grinder and three we were gonna have to cut these fenders up anyway just because i knew it was gonna be too narrow whether that was gonna be with a flare or whatever either way I'm gonna end up cutting this fender um i just don't know how i'm gonna cut it just yet so i'm kind of still a little nervous not nervous i just don't know what the plan is yet but most likely it's gonna be doing one of those type deals and then we'll slide it back and probably also pull it out but i don't know if i'm gonna go with aftermarket flares i don't know yet so the goal is make that cut and then get my lines lined up i want them i don't want it to be jogged i don't want it to go uphill i don't want it to go downhill i want the body lines to match up i'm also going to trim this some that bottom of the old rocker whatever you want to call it you can't get rid of the thickness because that's actually structure but i can obviously get rid of that little front part that looks like shit so i'll cut that out of there i need to cut this fender i'm just hemming and hawing about it before i do it <laughs> so i'm gonna put a pin in cutting that and i'm actually going to add giant square tubing to the front i'm gonna put it right in front of the radiator so that i can cut out all this bullshit that's obviously going to be in the way i might end up needing to cut this as well but i'm not going to do that yet we're going to find that out later but for now i want to get rid of all of this i need to put that in there That is pretty solid. Also, one really cool thing, whenever I cut stuff off that's important, like a frame or a subframe, I always like to judge on what the metal is doing. When I got through that first cut over there, nothing moved, so that's a really good sign. Um, anybody that does this stuff, you'll know. Sometimes you cut something, if you don't have a brace welded in, it will jump on you, you know, <laughs> a quarter inch, a half inch, whatever, you know, something just got bent out of whack and it was under a lot of pressure. But once this was in there, had no issues, came right off. So that's good. That saved us like almost a full foot, which is awesome. I do need to cut the fender wells out, but I'm not gonna do that yet. I think what I'm gonna do is try and get all this trimmed up so that I can get the passenger fender on there. And we'll probably call that a day for now because uh, I have a bunch of hours in and I'm dragging ass already. But I'm gonna go in here and I basically just have to mirror the same cuts. So here, here, and then up here. So let's do that. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. Check it out. They're actually fitting pretty good. <laughs> Funny enough. One of the shock tower bolts lines up with where the fender is. So I drilled a hole and it actually is the exact same spot in both sides. Now, I don't know if that's going to end up actually working, but what I could do if it would work out as far as fitment, spin that bolt around so that it goes down and then, you know, you tighten it from the bottom and that could actually be a good fender mount. So they both still need cut because it's, it's pushing it too far forward because I'm hitting right here. But boy, it don't look bad. Pretty excited. Yeah, we're going to call it a day. Tomorrow I'll come in and cut those out just like they're cut in the back. Then we can kind of get some movement and make everything fit perfect. And then we'll start making some mounts. Well, actually, I take that back. Then we're going to figure out what we're going to do with the front. Because these have headlight buckets. They're about two inches. And we need to put all that together to make sure all this is going to fit. Sweet. Good day of work. It is the next day. We're back on the Mustang. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pop these fenders off and I'm going to cut my wheel wells probably right along there, something like that. I want to go up to the body line if I can. That way, whenever I move this around, 
it'll be easy to line it back up. Technically, I could just cut right here and probably make it work, but I'm gonna cut way out here, give myself plenty of room to move this around. It'll be easy when I do the metal work on it, when I put it all back. And whenever that's cut, it'll get it out of a bind and I can actually set these fenders exactly where they need to be. Cause right now, since it's hitting the tire, it's kind of in a bind. And whenever I get it cut out, I'll throw them back on there and we'll start putting the front end pieces together and see what all we need to cut off here. The goal for the end of the video would be fenders and hood on would be awesome. Now I think my stock hood might not fit. I think it probably needs to have a, you know, like a cowl induction hood, but I should still be able to kind of get it all pieced together. So that's the goal. But right now we need to pop these off and cut the hell out of them. Okay, I have basically cut, let me get that out of the way, basically cut as much out of this as I can without completely removing it. I think it's okay where it's at, but I'm not 100% sure. This piece here is clearing, and I think that's the important one because that kind of ties both of the front fenders together. I think there's also a bar up here, obviously, but like as far as where stuff needs to be, that bolts to both fenders, so that should be good. I really don't want to cut any more if I don't have to. This is all going to get rebraced, but... I'd still rather take a stock part and then rebrace it instead of having to make everything from scratch. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and put my new headlight rings and buckets on because I wanna see how far stuff sticks out. I got uh, both sides brand new from the beautiful people at Holly. So we're gonna go ahead and throw those in and then probably install that too to see where I'm at width wise. Check it out. Looks so good, I'm very excited. Nothing is square, nothing is level, nothing is lined up at all, but I got to kind of put together, wanted to make sure the front brace kind of matched up and it does. Found out I don't have the front apron yet. It was on back order, I got it coming. I didn't order bumper brackets, radiator support brackets, fender bracket, basically hood, latch bracket, all the stuff I should have ordered. I'm an idiot and I didn't. So I need to go ahead and get all those ordered. I'm gonna contact Holly. I'm gonna shoot them an email so they can get that stuff coming to me. I think the apron was on back order, but it looks like it's open now. So that's a good sign. I should be able to get that. I think I'm going to do is measure all this, kind of get it somewhere reasonably close where I can throw the hood on it because I want to see that I'm level in here. I already know it looks like I need to come in here and cut most of this out because my hood is going to be lower. And I'll probably need to shave this down too, which is a ton of work, but I really need to know, you know, that you could technically just run a tape measure across and get a rough estimate, but I'd rather actually have the hood on so I can see what it looks like, see how it's going to fit. And, you know, just by looking at where the back of the fenders are, I know this needs to come out. But if you can see, it's actually hollow in there, so it shouldn't be the biggest deal in the world. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, I'm going to go ahead, pop the front clip off and just get that cut now so that I can just basically throw the hood on there before I go to make my brace across the front. Because if I make that brace wrong and then the hood is way out of whack and, you know, in the rear, nothing's going to line up anyway. So, uh, yeah, let's cut all that shit out and then we'll uh, put it all back on real quick.
Oh, yeah. Check it out. Woo -hoo -hoo. I am really happy. I mean, everything's still crooked, <laughs> but it's better because everything is fitting now. But look how big of a gap I have from how wide that is to how narrow the front end is, which we knew that going in, it's fine. But I was trying to get the rear fender, the rear part of the front fender lined up, and then I was gonna have it like taper in and still fit the hood. There's just no way. Unless I'm gonna go like literally cut the entire fender in like 10 pieces. What I'll do is fit the front end and then we'll make our gaps work by widening the ass end of the fender. So the only bad news is I think I'm kind of at a stopping point until I get my lower valence and stuff because I don't want to make any of that lower apron, whatever the hell it's called, bumper brackets. I don't really want to make any of this top support to hold the fenders without that being bolted in because I could spend two hours making that top support and then have it just be completely wrong if that bottom part doesn't bolt in. All these bolts, when you put them on, there's like a there's like a one inch hole because it's just meant to have a bunch of adjustments. So I don't wanna do something where I make something solid and nothing fits and I have to go and redo a bunch of shit. I don't have the time or the want to do that. We might put a pin in this and call it an episode. I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go order some parts tonight, see what all it takes, see how long stuff is gonna be, but I mean, if I'm not getting something for four or five days, there's no point even trying to do stuff. I was gonna put the rear apron. I was gonna start to work on that and get that under this plate, but I think I'm gonna have to trim my muffler and I think I'm gonna have to trim the way the rear floor is. So I don't know if I wanna mess with that or if I wanna just jump into that next episode. We might be calling it here, I don't know. <laughs> if you, right after this video, if you watch me doing an outro, we went ahead and ended here, which is cool. I'm very, very happy. This front end, 10 pounds of shit in a two pound bag is an understatement. <laughs> There's just, these cars were really small compared to how big the new ones are. But I mean, look at that. Besides the shitty fitment, that is a cool looking car. I got airbags coming. Airbags will be here, I think in a week or two. We'll start working on the airbags, try and layer out. I'm stoked, man. I, I'm really excited on how it's coming together, so. This is a very, very cool build. And uh, I think this one's really gonna take the channel up to another notch, cause I'm really gonna go crazy with this one. I'm rambling, cause I'm tired. <laughs> the next day. So it is the next day. I decided to go ahead, come in, make some quick mounts to get the fenders bolted to the body. I'm gonna leave room where not only can I adjust them, but take them out if I need to, be super easy. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a bracket across the top of here to hold the two fenders together. But I don't think I'm gonna weld that bracket to the core support right now because it's kind of just floating and I'm gonna wait until I get some more parts coming in. But I do wanna go ahead and get these fenders mounted up temporarily. So let's do that real quick. Check it out. Got the braces made, got the brace up front and then also got tabs back here in the back and she is mounted there's no jack stand holding it up i am very excited it looks bitching i'll go ahead and throw the hood back on there and uh we're gonna call this a video check it out the hood is on it's fitting like absolute dog shit but that's okay all the mounts i made are adjustable and movable but i definitely need to stop doing anything else making any mounts solid until i get some more parts in here the front apron the bumper brackets all that stuff so those will all be here for the next episode we will keep hammering on but i'm basically at a stopping point until some more parts show up. So stay tuned for the next video. Thank you very much for watching. This is really cool to have the front clip put on there. It's not level, it's not straight, but it's on there. This is a good rough start to getting all this mounted. I am really, really happy with how it's looking. It's got a real aggressive look to it. And we haven't even got into doing the crazy stuff that we're gonna be doing. Not only do I have a bunch of parts coming so we can keep mounting stuff, I should have my airbags coming in really soon as well. I'm excited to get those on because I wanna see how much we can get it laid out. The goal certainly isn't a low rider Mustang, but I do want to get it kind of down on the ground, real aggressive. I want to look like a performance Mustang with a little bit of hot rod attitude. So please stay tuned for next week. We do weekly videos here on YouTube on this build every single Tuesday. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff they do at the end of videos, and check out some more of my other videos. Peace. Love ya.